everyone, my name is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma Libraries. In Options for Remote STEM Research, we're going to continue our videos about using existing data sets. So in videos 25 through 27, we're going to talk about how to automate data retrieval. Let's talk about what it means to automate retrieving data. Normally, if you get a single data from a website, you might click a download link, tell the computer where to save the file, and then load the file into your analysis program. In the next two videos, we're going to cover two types of automated data retrieval. In video 26, we're going to cover resources for web scraping, where you use programming scripts to pull content directly from the website instead of downloading it or copy and pasting it. Then in video 27, we're going to call, cover something called application programming interfaces or APIs to pull data directly from the source. So instead of downloading items one by one, you're going to do it automatically with your code. Many websites have APIs for users like ourselves to access their data. Why would you do this instead of manually downloading? Well, sometimes it's easier to just download a single file manually. Then the data are living locally on your own hardware too. However, if you're pulling directly from an API, you're always going to get the most updated data. And if you're pulling many smaller chunks of data, it saves you from having to deal with each one directly, and that time can really add up. Likewise, for web scraping, it's orders of magnitude more efficient to scrape the data automatically with code than it is to manually look at each website and copy-paste the text you need to form your data. On Thursday, July 30th, from 2 to 3.30 p.m., we're going to have a live Q&A on Twitter for our accessing data via code. No registration is required, but you can view more at libraries.ou.edu slash events and look for the July 30th event. More video announcements and live workshops online are available at our Twitter, as well as on the Davis listserv at libraries.ou.edu slash davis. You can view past videos at bit.ly slash OUSTEMYT. Please contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for joining us, and stay safe out there.